Guys, this is Tom with Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC. Today I am going to show you how to program a Spectrum Alpha 6 without the need of the programming app, uh, a PC or whatever. Uh, we're just going to do it all with the radio and we're going to use the beautiful Viking 120. Viking Model 12 120. So it's just for reference, big control surfaces, make it easy to see how things are working. Uh, but the Alpha 6 is going to do all the stability. Okay, for so for this demonstration, we're going to use a 9-channel receiver, like the 9310. Um, just because it's a 9-channel, uh, with a plane this size, you'd probably use a power safe. But the same fundamentals apply. Uh, and then we're going to connect that channel to channel to the Alpha 6. Um, and then for radio, since we're only using nine channels, a DX9 will suffice. Um, so nine channels, we're gonna use throttle, two aileron channels, two elevator channels, one rudder. Uh, the gear channel we're gonna use for gain. Um, and really that's about it, so we only need seven. So let's get to it. So the first thing we wanna do is the Alpha 6 comes with a bunch of extra leads. Well, they're not extra, but there's a bunch of them. Um, these are for the input. So we'll just start lining them up. Input. So with this plane, we're going to use both ailerons, A1 and A2, aileron 1 and 2, both elevators, E3 and E4, a rudder servo, and G is for gear. That's what we're for gain on this guy. So we're going to be taking six channels from the receiver going into here. Diagram down here, signal, it's always the lightest colored wire. Like that's all six. So let's get her in the, re in the plane. Okay, so luckily this guy's been wired up by a, by a pro for me ahead of time, but let's go ahead and get this guy going. Um, and by that I mean the servos and stuff are all installed. And we numbered them. I like numbering them. Or you can write aileron or something on them. Like where this one, it's got the number one written on it with the silver marker. Uh, one is throttle, so we're gonna put throttle into the throttle port on our receiver. Normally our ailerons, aileron one is gonna be the right aileron, and aileron two is gonna be the left aileron. Um, kind of same thing goes for elevator. It doesn't have to be that way, but it, everything kind of works seamlessly when it does. Say this is aileron one, and usually the right aileron is the aileron channel on the receiver. Aileron two is normally channel six or aux one. Elevator, the right elevator, so elevator one, and then elevator two. We're going to say it's going to be Augs two. So we'll plug her in. And then our gear for the gyro. So, there we go. All of them plugged in. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up our radio so that all these channels match what we're doing here. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up our DX9 for using it with the Alpha 6 on the Viking. So easy thing to do to get to a new model 
as we hit clear and back, go all the way down to add new model, create. Viking 12, all right. And aircraft type, this is where we're gonna set up our wing. This is going to, we're gonna set up as a dual aileron and a dual elevator. All right, then we're gonna go down to channel assign. This is where we're gonna kinda check our work. Okay, so remember where I said number two was right aileron uh, and then AUGS one was gonna be our left Okay, so it went ahead and put AUGS4 as our left elevator. We're going to change that. Inhibit. We're going to change this to left elevator, or L elevator. So it matches what we plugged into our receiver. And we'll go to next. And this is important. We want to put our gear on a knob. So I'll use the knob, just roll it, and it'll move it. Initially, we're going to use the knob to change between gains, and we'll go more into that once we got things working. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in all of our control surfaces into the receiver. So I'm going to look for my numbers. We've got Let's go ahead and bind up our receiver. Once we've got our bound, the next thing to do is to figure out where we're going to put the Alpha 6 and where we're going to put our receiver. Um, right now I'm just concerned about the Alpha 6. You want to put it in the middle as much as you can. So at the point of rotation, kind of axis here, um, and if you can, get it close to the CG, but this one, I mean, there's really no good place for it, so I'm gonna put it here. Uh, it'll work just fine. Uh, if it's off from the CG, from my experience, um, the biggest thing is you just, you won't be able to use as much gain for the pitch axis. Got a piece of double-sided tape on the back of here, and we're gonna stick her, and you wanna stick it, and it's, it says this in the manual, either facing, you don't wanna stick it sideways like that. It's gotta be forward, backward or upside down, forward or backward. So ports, the inputs and outputs facing towards the tail and nose. So, that. Um, first thing we're gonna do is a control direction test. Um, and that is to see if the gains are correcting the right direction. Okay, so we're gonna move the tail around. Uh, let's say, let's yaw to the right. See, when I yaw to the right and we're in heading hold mode, the more blue light is on the Alpha 6. <clears throat> I moved my knob so it was on that. You see how the tail deflects when I move it? The, if the tail's deflecting this way, that means it's giving it yaw to the right when we're going yaw right. So the gain is going the wrong direction. We have to reverse that. So we gotta reverse the rudder. And then the tail, let's see, we're nose pitching down. This one is going the wrong direction. This one's going the right direction. So we have to reverse the left elevator. So let's do that. Reverse the gains, the gain directions. We press and hold this button, the setup button on there. Wait for the light. All right, now we're in gain reverse mode, red light. Uh, it's got the channel highlighted that we want to reverse, um, or that is ready to be reversed. So it's a green LED by the channel, that was the A1. Uh, we don't know about the other runs, we're going to focus on the rudder and elevator just for an example. So we're going to tap over to elevator 4, E4. That was the one that was going the wrong direction. Once we're on it, we're gonna press and hold the button and the E4 light will start blinking. 
So now it's going the op op correcting the opposite direction. Plus, you're going to change the rudder. We want to reverse that. So press and hold it. And then we'll go through. So after we're done doing that, once we finish going through this whole set, these all these lights, it's going to go into calibration mode. That's what that is. Calibration mode is where it wants to see all the control surfaces travel endpoints from your radio. So we take the radio. Zoom out here. The lights blink in. We take the radio. We just move all our controls all over. And then we want to move the gain knob. We want to move our knob 100%, neg negative 100%, and back to center. The lights out, or the lights stay solid. That means it's calibrated. Um, so you got to make sure that your travels are all 100% when we do this. You can set the travel endpoints on your servos and things like that after we're done doing the calibration. So we just tap the button. It's ready to go. <laughs> Let's see if our gain is moving the right direction. Let's see if we got the gain going the right direction. So we pick up the tail just like the first time and yaw to the right. Oh, it's giving left yaw. That's right. That's what we want. Nose up or nose down. Give an F elevator on both elevators. So as we nose down, up, up, they're both going up. So we we'll do the opposite if we can nose up, but it's a big blank. So we're good. Uh, same thing for the ailerons. If we were to roll the plane, uh, it would counteract. So if we gave it a right roll, the plane should essentially try to give a left roll. And if that's wrong, you got to reverse those surfaces with the same thing that we did with those lights. Okay, so that's pretty much it for setup. Uh, now is the time to go test flight. Um, what I would do is start at zero gain or really low. So start at the knob in the middle like that. So we only have, what, I mean, right now I'm at 10%, but you want to start low and work your way up. Um, at this point, you can turn the travel down on the gain channel so that you have more resolution, I guess you could call it. Um, so that you're, when you're turned all the way up, you're only at 50%, so you're just not overshooting it. Um, and just work your way up until it flies great. Uh, if you start to fly it and it starts to oscillate, where the plane kind of fishtails or bobs, it'll, you know, the, the channel that's oscillating, that means it's too much gain, you turn it down a little bit. So really the goal is to turn it up till it oscillates and then turn it down a notch. And that's gonna be your preferable gain location. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions, let me know.